earth signs, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that your new year is going to be a solid one for you. And I hope that 2001, 2021 <laughs> treated you well as well. We're going to take a look at your overall themes for 2022. Um, a lot of this will be influenced on how the last two-ish years went for you, especially with all this pandemic stuff happening. So this is going to be a generalized reading for all air signs. Um, so some of it may resonate with you and others. Uh, some of the other advice may not. Um, in that case, leave that for folks who that might resonate for, okay? Let me give you folks a sound bath and we'll get started. So while Kitty Kitty hangs out with us, I'm going to let Spirit pick a deck. And she says Sufi Wisdom. So let me do a little bit of shuffling <laughs> around Kitty Kitty. And then we'll get started. She's supposed to be fed in about two hours, but she's letting me know two hours in advance, just in case I forgot that she does have a deadline for food in her bowl. So we'll do our best to work around her. I'm going to take the first three from the top, okay? So your first one is to make friends. So this year, you're probably going to need to reach out to other people for good advice, good ideas, and just for a little bit of a, an emotional soundboard and a spiritual soundboard as well. Okay. So a lot of you earth signs are going to be taking a look at your deeper purpose in life. So maybe this is going to be a year where you rediscover your spiritual self. Maybe you get in contact with your ancestors, with your spirit guides. Last and not least, you have self creation. So it looks like making new, really neat friends is going to be part of realigning your life's purpose and recreating, or I should say, creating something new for yourself, like a new spiritual um, journey, for instance. So I want to take a look at um, some mantras associated with these cards. Make friends is one. We'll take a look at that one first. So your mantra for this card is, from now on, I will go along the path which guides me to discover the kind of love that will help me be a better friend to others. This path will lead me to meet new and caring friends. That's that mantra. I want to take a look at life's purpose. As you ponder your purpose in life, keep asking these questions of yourself. What is it that I love to do? Why am I here? What is my life's purpose? The answers may not come on the first day or even in the first week but they will eventually come to you when you seek to respond sincerely from your heart. So based on what I'm getting so far, I definitely feel like Spirit is pushing you to do new things with your life this year. You may have already felt that it was time to start taking a look at new things, but you were hesitating. 
Um, it's possible that some new friends may come into your life this year that will accelerate, kind of be the catalysts for what's going on here. Air signs also got self-creation. I want to take a look at that. I am determined to adjust myself to what is not in my control and change what I am able to, to change to create my desired life. So you might be coming up against some obstacles that you weren't expecting this year. And um, you might be asked to take a whole new spiritual path, maybe a new business career, friendship, romantic career, like romantic path, something like that in order to, for some of you might be getting back on track, right? You may have felt like you were off track and it felt like it was a lot of work to do something about it, right? We get that, right? Everybody's been through that stage. So again, this may not resonate with all of you folks, but for other you, others, this might be what you really, really need. Spirit says to look at the uncertain oracle next. The uncertain oracle is absolutely fantastic if you are an intuitive reader that really doesn't need a guidebook. This car, this um, deck does not come with a guidebook. It is really, really meant to be read visually. I had that in my head just a little bit ago. That says small magic if that doesn't show up well on camera. So definitely this is going to be about more of the spiritual side of your life. All of the elements this year are being asked to turn back to nature and to reconnect. And if that means air signs, that meant that some folks would need to head out to the wilderness. And for other folks, that's not going to work as well. But definitely separating yourself from technology, from social media for a period of time is going to do a lot to get you to listen closer to your spirit guides, your ancestors, those who've gone on before you um, in nature. Absolutely. Small magic. This reminds me of a bright forest with some light coming through some trees. We're going to take from the bottom this time. So you are going to have some, excuse me, you are going to have some um, variable materials, um, events happening this particular year. I um, mean, for earth signs, that might feel a little bit more like an earthquake than it might for, for some other signs, okay? And by the way, this, um, when I talk about earth signs, this will apply to your sun, your moon, your ascendant slash rising, or your Venus sign. So you've got some variations coming up this year that are going to encourage you very, very strongly to tap into the magic that you already have. Um, I believe that with a between humans and our connection to nature that we do have access to all natural magic, if you will, right? Like kitchen magic, herb magic, that kind of thing. And I was talking about ancestors and there the ancestor pops up. For a lot of you folks, you're really going to need, in fact, for most of you folks, you're going to need to tap into your spirit guides and to your ancestors who mean well for you in order to figure out how to progress in the best way possible for you. Three more from the top. Integration. Sacred anger. And fracturing fractured, it should say. So, the divine spirit, the universe, <clears throat> may have broken something up in your life, or may be about to break something up in your life. 
because it was not the right thing for you. In fact, it looks like it was doing some damage to you. So this is going to be broken up for you if, um, if you don't do it for yourself. And this upcoming year may be more about integrating the after effects, right? You may have a small tower event in your upcoming 2022. Some folks may, okay? No more from this deck. The Wildwood would like to speak to our Earth signs. There are no reversals in the Wildwood Tarot. They are not needed. Their message, messages are often blunt and specific enough that reversals are not needed. Protection. You're going to be protecting something and you're going to be protecting some, a source of generosity from yourself, from somebody else. This is going to be really important. Okay. So for some of you folks, your generosity may have been taken advantage of and you're a little bit overprotective of your very giving spirit right? I can feel that a lot of you folks are very generous and you feel as though you've been taken advantage of this past year and possibly leading up to this. Maybe for some of you folks it's been a long time that you feel like you've been taking adva taken advantage of. You feel like you have so much love to give but nobody's giving anything back to you. This is my judgment card. You're being asked to go into <clears throat> a kind of, it's a kind of hibernation, but you are very active mentally, right? The thing is with, with hibernating animals is they're asleep, right? You are going to be hibernating in the sense that you're going to be meditating on your higher self, what you can do to elevate your highest self. Contacting your spirit guides, ancestors, you're really be being encouraged to go into the wilderness, kind of like with the air signs. You're being asked to separate yourself definitely from technology, smart, um, smartphones, I should say, of course, um, but social media especially. Twitter is coming up. Twitter being a poisonous kind of in influence for some folks, not all. You've got the Page of Cups. This is going to be, this looks like a river otter. Um, I'd like you to take a look at YouTube videos of river otters um, taking down much larger prey as a group. Um, this is the announcement of something um, new, a new love for yourself, maybe. Definitely being called to having a new love for yourself. And the thing with otters is they, they're, it's fun to see them play around um, in the water. They're so agile, right? And I want you to have that kind of imagery. You are meditating on how your highest self can imitate the otter as it moves through the water. Very, very quickly, knows where it's going and knows how to kill prey, as especially as a group. Um, I think the BBC has a video of a group of river otters, and granted, these are not small creatures, a group of river otters taking down a caiman. Um, these are can be fearsome creatures, right? Their teeth are something else. They're awfully cute, and that's just part of their appeal, I think, for us. I understand why a lot of people want to identify so closely with animals, especially when it comes to characteristics like this. It inspires us to rise above um, our situations. We're all part of the animal kingdom. 
you are going to be tremendously celebrated. If you answer the calling, you take on a whole new emotional journey for yourself. It could be as simple as starting out with myself. What can I do to take care of myself? If no one else is going to take care of me, if no one else is going to love me, then where can I start that journey for myself? You're going to be heavily celebrated for this. You're going to attract cool new people. And I actually, so we were actually talking just a bit ago about making new friends. This is going to attract all kinds of new friends. You're not going to need to do that much work. They're just going to come to you, right? Kind of like what's going on with this fire. They're going to want to hang out with you. Okay, so you've got some water energy going on for you, on quite a bit for you folks. Tapping into your intuition is going to be key. Practicing, listening to your to your intuition and making mistakes, right? Saying, oh, like, okay, I should have listened to my intuition then. Um, that's all part of the process, okay? You're going to be exploring this new emotional route. The Knight of Vessels lands on top of the page of Vessels. So not only are you being encouraged to start a new route, this year you're looking to explore this new route. So this might feel like it happens quickly for you folks. And with rivers, sometimes it does move quickly. You're being asked to go through the flow here. You're being asked to kind of tough it out too. It might be difficult for you folks, especially with kind of being a bit of a lone figure here. This is going to be the king of stones in the sense that it knows the wilderness very, very well. It can teach others about the wilderness. It can survive through all kinds of harsh conditions. You're being asked to up level how you navigate your circumstances this year. Tap into your highest self Tap into your spirit guides, into your ancestors. In order to navigate this year, I don't know whether these are, it sounds like it's a combination of external circumstances and stuff that's coming from within yourself. Please do consider reaching out to a therapist if it ever feels like that could be of help. Um, no tarot reading from any person, I don't care how famous they are, is ever a replacement for something like therapy from a qualified therapist, okay? Spirit says no more from the wild wood. Taramuja. the moon. You got a burden. And the eight of pentacles. There are a lot of unknown things at this point. This is what this exploration is about. You are hitting all new territory this year. You're being strongly encouraged to hit all new territory this year. The moon card doesn't last forever. It does eventually flip down into reverse when you know everything. You know yourself inside and out. This is asking you to get to, get to know your shadow self. I would encourage working with a light worker who is happy to, uh, an established, mature light worker, who is happy to take their light into um, some dark places, or that you need to be willing to explore your shadow self. Um, you ultimately are the only one who can do that. Reaching out to a therapist, reaching out to a light worker will help, but ultimately you need to do most of the work 99% of the work. Those folks can guide you. 
but you need to make this happen. It will feel like hard work. At some times, it'll feel like this is just about too much. This is about to be the camel, or the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is going to be a lot for you folks, and this is why I want to emphasize again that therapy might really, really work out well for a lot of you folks. It's not a 100% for every single last person on planet Earth, but it is going to help a lot of Earth signs this year. A combination of your external and internal circumstances is really going to push you to your limits. And to be frank, this is where you find out um, how much you've grown since your last growth cycle, spiritual, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, all that kind of thing. And it also shows you what you're able to do. Folks, how about one more sound bath? If there's anything that I can do for you as far as a reading, please reach out to me at fourwandsdivination.com. I would love to do a reading with you. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day. Happy New Year.